All right, you, YouTube. This is a little cove known as um, Murdoch Beach, and to the locals, it's known as Round Rock Beach. And if you've seen the stone that I have in my 55, you've probably been wondering where I got it. Well, I found it on this beach, and I'm gonna walk down in that in that direction where I found it, and uh, hopefully get some underwater footage of the tide pools and stuff. Hopefully you guys like it. Well, the water seems to be extremely muddy, and I don't think we're going to get any underwater footage, but the tide's low, so I might find some really neat agates or other neat stones. I found this little area that uh, there's a few pools there, and uh, there that seemed to be kind of clear. I'm gonna get the GoPro out and see what we can do. All right, YouTube. So the way that I understand this is that this lava bed right here is sitting at just the right angle. And if you no notice, it's all stone. And I'm at just the right angle. But these rocks come in and out with the tide and form these grooves and end up Almost, I'm gonna get focus. Almost perfectly round. It's amazing. But the real spot is on fur further down. So let's go check that out. And as you can see, if you notice all the lateral lines going. That's where the rocks have rolled up and down. And these are, let's see if we can find some good ones. See they all just pile up. And there's lots of fossils. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but there's two eagles way over there making calls and stuff. They're on the tip of that tree, right? Let me find my hand right there. I'll get my long lens lens out in a minute and get a picture of them if they'll stay, stay, stay there. But I just wanted to share my. Uh, favorite place to go in the Northwest. It's really pretty. I'm gonna keep walking. Here's what I just found. A little uh, crab. I don't want to be out in the open. Really neat little creature.
right, there, there they are. I'm about, I don't know, a quarter of a mile away. Looks like two adults. Probably, probably have a nest right there. And there's a great blue heron way out there. Sorry about the sh sh shakiness. It's a 400 millimeter lens, so I'm really, really should be using a tripod. There he goes. Well, one of them. There's the other one. They landed in that tree lower down. But now there's still one up there, so there's three. I'm gonna sit right here and hope that uh, we see some more action. All right. I don't wanna get really close because I don't wanna scare the animals, but this is, quick. This is as close as I'm gonna get. The tide's coming in anyway. I hear a kingfisher. I lost it. Well, where the uh, great blue heron used to be is now two seals. Sorry, I'm trying to be try, trying to be still. In everything From a river running backwards To a bee when it stings And I believe In the voices out here Telling me to hold on But let go of my fear A childhood imagination has been my salvation One cloud at a time Lord, I'm dreaming Let me look upon her one more time This beauty that I love Ooh, She's wild the strength from my pain and I believe in what I can't prove in the joy of not knowing and the misunderstood let go of my past let go of my future one cloud at a time yes I'm dreaming let me look upon her one more time This beauty that I love Before she's gone, before she's gone I believe in everything In everything I'm a believer
tide came in and since we're close to the Lyre River I figured I'd just go on up the road and see if we can't uh, get some footage of the crystal clear water here. So the last place we stopped was the Lyre River, and this is um, a little, um, a little ways up Salt Salt Creek, 
We're not at the rec recreational area, we're um, off the road. About, I don't know, two miles inland, making this probably brackish water. See an American Dipper. That's what just flew. Let's see if we can't see any fish. The further you fall, the higher you fall, the higher you fall.